The World Health Organization reports that counterfeit medicines could make up more than 50% of the drugs sold on the global market, with a large amount of fake drugs being bought and sold in developing countries. Whether due to loose regulation or lax law enforcement, counterfeiters can run wild in poor countries. There is no shortage of demand, and many people seek inexpensive treatment options. Others are simply trying to survive with limited access to care. Many die making that choice. The only people who profit from fake pharmaceuticals are the counterfeiters. The market of these counterfeit or substandard drugs could, could very well exceed a billion dollars every year. Now, a simple technology may be able to spot the fakes. Inside Science. At a quick glance, can you tell the difference between these two drugs? Neither can most consumers. If you just hold uh, fake and genuine packets of drugs next to each other, just looking at them, the counterfeiters have gotten quite good at you know, just making them look real. Researchers like Keller are looking for ways to analyze drugs before they make it to the hands of consumers. So you might have to, uh, for example, kind of crush up the pill, mix it with a chemical, and kind of put it on a paper readout strip. But the thing we like about spectroscopy is it's non-destructive. There's no ongoing cost, so you buy your device and use a phone app. That's basically all that you need. We developed uh, an app that basically just talks to the spectrometer. It has pre-built-in analysis routines, and then it tells you, first of all, is this a, a genuine or a fake drug? And if it's genuine, then it confirms what the ingredient is. Researchers are working to expand the use of the app and test it in Southeast Asia, in areas where counterfeit drugs are a huge problem. The ultimate goal is to basically have people taking drugs that are real and effective. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.